Hey guys, Karex here with another review. This time I'll be reviewing the Guitar Ningeki Star Sword Gun from Shuriken Sentai Nin Ninja. This is the main weapon of Star Ninja that you can use as both a sword or a gun and also use Nin Shuriken with. So this set includes two things, the Star Sword Gun and the Furai Nin Shuriken. So start, let's take a look at the Star Sword Gun. So this gets into the rock and roll part of Star Ninja's American Ninja concept. As you can see, the Star Sword Gun is shaped like a uh, guitar, or more specifically, an electric guitar with a star-shaped body. So starting from the top, we got the uh, top of the guitar, or the head of the guitar. Which has the tuning, which has four tuning knobs, and also the muzzle for the gun function, as well as a flame sticker. We've got the neck of the guitar, which has the sword blade on the side, which is painted in metallic silver. While the body is a metallic gray color. We've got the mold-on strings on the actual neck. Go all the way down to the body. We've got the speaker right here. The uh, Ninjuriken port is right here. Up in black, you've got the same end symbol as the rest of them. The connector pieces are in metallic red. Got a few more uh, flame stickers going around it, which really work very well here on the Star Sword Gun give it a very nice style. Then the strings continue all the way to here. Got a mullet on whammy bar right here. Literally has a little uh, shuriken symbol right here. You can see that the tips of the star points actually have a little bit of metallic silver paint on each of them. With the exception of this one, which actually ends as the group for the gun mode, with a little bit of metallic gold pl plastic molded onto the end. We've got two triggers one right here for the sword mode, and one right here for the gun mode, as well as a special attack button. Looking around the back, you can see the back of the Ninja Gun port and the release levers. A little bit of molding on the back with a little bit of a mesh detail. See the guitar, the battery cover right here. The back of the neck has a little bit of molding on detail there. And then for the head, on the back you have a mold on the ninja symbol. On off switch right here. And a nice little guitar or music note symbol molded onto the end of the handle as well as more mold on the gold plastic for the end of this trigger or this grip. Then you have the Furai Ninjuriken. This is a Star Ninja's equivalent to the Goto Ninjuriken as this is what he uses for oh, basically his elemental jutsu or his elemental his elemental techniques. So uh, since Furai means wind and thunder, it has two modes, one for wind and one for thunder. So we start out in the wind mode, where you've got the symbol for wind, Kaze, which is, is right here on the cigar, and then you've got a little tornado here, rising up in blue. This is also a five point star, or a five point shuriken. Each one of them, once again, has a mold on N. And these ones also kind of look like lightning bolts. And one thing that's actually clever here is that each of these points is actually molded in the shape of a guitar pick. And once you see how this functions with the star sword gun, you'll see how clever that actually is. So to flip, to change between the modes, take this panel right here and flip it down like so. 
there yet to the Kaminari Magic Mode. And so here you've got the uh, symbol for uh, Thunder, Kaminari Hunt. It was a thunderbolt or a lightning bolt running down. When you change it back, it'll say Kaze Magic. And similar to the Goton Ninshuriken, the Shuriken Blade here is permanently attached and not removable. Now, interestingly, for the base body, you've got the same orangey metallic gold that's used for the Star Ninja Shuriken. And we've got more of a regular gold plastic, or a regular metallic gold plastic, for the Shuriken Blade. And if you want to, you could put it into the Ninja Star Burger, like so. So, you can activate the sounds on the drone with the Ninja Star Burger, like this. So, for the Kaze Magic, we got this sound right here. And for Kaminari Magic. Kaminari Magic! <laughs> got that sound right there. And I'll uh, explain them a little bit more with their connection to the uh, Star Sword Gun. As it really kind of has to be explained together. And if you're wondering why it says Kaze Magic and Kaminari Magic, it's because, essentially, uh, well, ninjutsu, uh, and the way it's kind of popularized, it's kind of seen as a form of magic. And so, uh, I guess for something of an Americanized version, they decided that instead of calling him Mukaze, like, well, instead of calling it, like, Kaze no Jutsu or Kaminari no Jutsu, they said they decided to use Kaze Magic and Kaminari Magic. So, get started. I'm gonna go to here and turn it on. So, like this, you can use the sword function and the gun function. So, for the sword sound, pull this trigger. get a striking sound followed by a guitar sound and for the gun function pull this trigger you get a gun firing sound plus a different guitar sound and this basically gets into uh, where the guitar, where the Furine and Shuriken comes in so attaching it like this, first we're going to turn it to the uh, Kaze Magic. Kaze Magic! To use Kaze no, the Kaze no Jutsu, which is actually what Starting Ninja calls it in the show. Now you just call it this for the toy, just for that Americanized sound. So to do this, you're going to spin the Shuriken. I'll say Hurricane Ja. And that does sound rather similar to Hurricane Ja, how you say uh, uh, Hurricane Jer in Japanese. Though in the show, there is actually a Hurricane Jer uh, Nin Shuriken, since there was a team up with that the Nin Ninjas had with Ninja Red and Hurricane Red. So it, is, uh, it does sound similar to Hurricane Jer, but that is coincidental. And so actually getting into that sound again. So you've got the same thing going on here as you have with the Ninja Ichibanta, where there's some sound coming from the toy itself and some from the Ninja Shuriken. There's a uh, guitar strumming sound coming from the Ninja Shuriken and then the attack sound coming from here. And so if you listen to it, 
you actually hear that at the end of the attack sound, there is a guitar string sound. And the way it's the way that works is uh, something that is uh, actually pretty clever. To actually illustrate that, I'll uh, next use Kaminari no Jutsu. So then, if we can, so basically, what you got there is that for the cousin of Jutsu, at the end of that sound, you had a soft strumming sound using flat notes, whereas for the Kaminari no Jutsu, had a very sharp, loud sound at the end of that, and that is basically kind of comparing that in using a little bit of music theory where, uh, essentially, uh, a chord of flat notes can be compared to uh, the flowing of the winds, whereas a, a chord of sharp notes can be compared to a lightning strike. And that way, that way it's actually quite clever. Though, if you're right-handed, you're actually going to be holding it like this. And, yeah, if you're if you're right hanging, you're all going to be holding like this and strumming it like this. Though you could also use it with your left hand. So then you can get into the special attacks. First, we're going to switch it to the Kaze Magic mode. Press this button. It'll say the attack instead of the waza. Then spin the shuriken. And pull the trigger. So that'll give you his ninja slash attack, which, as you can see, is meant to go along with the Kaze Magic mode, since that had a kind of soft strumming sound to it. Then switching around, has the trigger again, or the button again. Spin the shuriken. Pull the second trigger. And you have this ninja shot attack. With more of a hard rock sound, that's supposed to be tied to the Kaminari magic mode. Though as you can oh well as I'll demonstrate, you can use either one with either mode. Since those sounds actually t come from the Star Sword Gun, they aren't affected by what mode the Furai Nin Shuriken is in. It also means you can use other ninja for this, such as the Star Ninja Shuriken. The only thing is that neither of the buttons push against the button on the back because there is no mechanism to raise this part in the middle. Meaning that you can only get this sound here yeah! by either doing that or using the Ninja Ichibanto. 
but that is still an option. And yeah, one another thing is that similar to the Star Ninja Shuriken, the Fu Rai Ninja Shuriken is a little bit sensitive in terms of the spinning mechanism. So you might be better displaying it off of the well, off of the Star Sword Gun, which is of course done by holding these two buttons down, then pulling off. And so that's it for the Star Sword Gun. Again, this is another toy that I think knocks it out of the park. I love the design of this thing. This is the kind of thing that would look very cool as a real guitar. It's because it's got a very classic kind of 80s rock and roll design. With this star shaped body and the flame stickers on it. It also works well since you have these two triggers here. And with the shape, it works well since, like this, it is a sword. And like this is kind of like a rifle because of the long neck basically being the barrel. What works even better is the functionality with the Ninjuri Cannon. Because this is also a guitar, this actually works very well as a guitar strumming motion. Where you can basically just take your thumb and uh, use it to spin the Ninjuriken. And that's also why it's clever that these are shaped like guitar picks, since you're basically using this to strum the guitar and actually play the music. And it is very well done the way they work in two modes, as these two panels that flip around to cover up the other mode and then create the other one. And it's all done using it a little tab here that this button presses down for the wind and then lets or releases for the thunder. And then of course you also have the two different attacks which also work very well as they work well in conjunction with the Shuriken because the sounds match up really well. At the same time you can also use it with other Ninshuriken like the Star Ninja Shuriken. Now obviously size-wise this is pretty small, but again it's a kid's toy. It works well for what it is. And it is very fun to play with, all things considered. So if you're a fan, again, if you're a fan of Star Ninja and you like this kind of thing, then I can say it's definitely uh, something that I recommend. It works well as a sword toy, a gun toy, and especially well as a guitar toy. So, thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and check out my channel for more videos. And thanks for watching. And for now, this will be KRX50, riding off.